I imagine many of you have spent a little bit more time at home these last few months. I hope you've been able to enjoy some family time. But just maybe it's created a few more challenges. Perhaps you're finding the need to apologize more often. Apologizing may, may not be the easiest thing to do, but it's mighty important. One writer said that an apology is the super glue of life. <laughs> Have you had the opportunity to do a little extra repair work lately? A true apology, it flows from the heart. It admits being wrong, it expresses sorrow, and it really desires to do things right. I think it was Benjamin Franklin who said, never ruin an apology with an excuse. The Bible teaches us about repentance. Repentance includes sorrow over sin. It includes a desire to stop sinning. And of course, it includes faith in the forgiveness won for us by our Savior Jesus. It's a change of heart. It's a desire to change direction away from sin and toward God. Pray for courage. Pray for the courage to apologize, to repent. And if you're the one who's been offended, pray for a heart, a heart that's ready to forgive. The Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthians, Godly sorrow brings repentance that leads to salvation and that leaves no regret. Remember God's promise to you of full and free forgiveness. And don't hold back when it comes to apologizing. Be ready. Be ready to forgive one another. God give you such a heart.